Let's practice the count a formula in Excel 2013. Imagine having a sports academy where we want to keep track of attendance and you want to recognize certain students with really good attendance uh, at a certain percentage. So we have different students here and we have uh, different days of the month, one, two, three, four, five, and normally there is between 28 and 31 days in a month, but for now, just for the sake of simplicity, we'll just work with five days. For every for every day they show up, and we just type in a number one here one 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 one. Now, is there a quick way of tallying how many times they showed up? Well, let's click here in total, and let's type in equals count a. Equals count a. You can see Excel gives you a hint here. Counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Now, this is not empty. This is not empty, and this is not empty, regardless of whether it's a number or some text. So here, I'm going to say bracket. I'm going to highlight the range and let's see how many things from day one to day five are not empty. Press enter. It's three. Now the nice thing about Excel is if you use autofill it figures out that we're trying to apply the corresponding rows to the same question. How many of these five days are non-empty? And so we have a count a formula here, here, here. You can verify the formula in the formula bar. Now what about the total number of days? I'm going to say equals count a bracket and as for number of days I'm going to just highlight this row here b2 to f2. So this is the total number of days and I'm just going to press enter. You can see that if I use the count a formula here it's going to definitely give me five days because each of these uh, labels are not empty. Enter. So we have five days alright so now let's um, figure out the average by the way if you do want to drag this down it's gonna kind of mess up because as you learned from a previous video uh, if we always uh, want things to uh, adjust correspondingly uh, we just um, leave things as is however if we want things to be fixed in this case we want to always talk about this particular um, and we want the B2 to F2 values never to change, we use absolute cell referencing, which is the dollar symbols here. Press enter. So now when we drag out autofill, we're always talking about this row here. So the number of days is always the same. Let's figure out the average. The average would be equals to average bracket the total number of days divided by the number of days here and so the average is 0.6. We can autofill again. And let's just highlight the average here and change it to a percentage by clicking on this percentage symbol. And thus we have figured out the percentage of each person's attendance and we can give awards to certain peoples.